Hey guys, Jordan here, back with another video on the iPad Mini again. I, um, was just too lazy to look for my tripod, and, uh, this was just easier. So, I want to talk about the Blue Grand M for a little bit. I bought the phone, um, a little bit over a week ago now, and... <sighs> When you buy an $80 phone, don't expect much. So, as I said, I went to Tijuana. Sorry, it's just... This phone is the worst phone I've ever used in my life. So, the first day I got there, I got to my hotel, and I was trying to call my dad from WhatsApp. He wasn't picking up, and I know he uses Tango more, so I was like, screw it, let me download Tango, I'll call him on Tango. All well and good, right? So, I download Tango, and it doesn't even launch. It crashes immediately. Nothing. White screen. The phone... Is slow, it's sluggish, even if I'm clearing the app switch religiously, it doesn't handle much. I want to show you guys something real quick. These are the apps I have on the phone right now that I installed. Some came pre-installed, but some I had to install myself, such as Uber, Facebook, Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, um, PayPal, and I installed also Wells Fargo because that's my preferred bank. The apps on this phone are slow. Are sluggish, do not load properly. The phone crashes on the daily, non stop. You go to type something, and this is the funniest part because I was at dinner with my dad after I came back from Tijuana. I went out to dinner, a Mexican restaurant, go figure. What happened was, I was sending a text to my girlfriend. And I was trying to type W. I hit the W key. It typed the auto prediction. I said, well, you know what? Maybe if I tap below it, it would tap the right letter. So I tap below it. And guess what happened? Same exact thing. No matter where you touched on the phone. The same, like the same touch point would activate. So that it gets fixed with a restart. But the thing is, I bought this phone the day I uploaded my last video, and it's already glitching like that. It's an $80 phone. I was thinking maybe, you know, it could hold me over till, you know, the Galaxy S9 comes out. Because that's the phone I really wanted to get. I didn't, I didn't want to buy the S8. Because I figured, you know, if I'm going to go and spend $1,000 on a phone, I'd rather spend it on something that's brand new, that just came out. And that would last me, you know, a little... The S8 would last anybody a couple years. But the fact is, when you're buying a phone, you want to buy the latest and greatest, the best in technology. So I decided, you know what? I can't wait. I can't use this phone. I lost The iPhone 6 I had is gone. I lost it on the Metro. If anyone was riding the blue line and they found an iPhone 6 in a bag, call me. Leave a comment and... Um, let me get my phone back. Yeah, but I doubt it. So many people ride that train. It's probably in a pawn shop, but it's iCloud lock, so they can't do anything with it anyway. So the phone I decided to buy was the OnePlus One. 
No, not the one plus one, sorry, the one plus five. I'm waiting on that one in the mail right now. And I'm really excited about that one because it's got a lot of great reviews. It's got six gigs of RAM as opposed to the microscopic 512. And for those of y'all counting at home, the iPhone 7 Plus comes in at a whopping 3 gigabytes of RAM. So I have very high expectations for this phone. So a review on that one will be coming. But back to the one or the blue brand M. Don't buy it. Don't waste your money. Don't think, oh, this is something that will hold me over. Don't be like me. Don't be stupid. Come on. It's an $80 phone. And the fact is, when you're paying $80 for a smite. Uh, for a smartphone, especially today and age, you're not getting much. You're getting the bare minimum. And that's what this is. This is the bare minimum. I can receive calls on this. I can receive texts on this. I can just barely call an Uber. I could just barely check my PayPal. I could just barely use Facebook. But that's it. Like, you're not gaming on this. You're not going to be playing uh, Angry Birds. You're not going to be sending S Snapchat. Oh, my God. If you use Snapchat, do not buy this phone. The cameras. I was thinking, you know what? They said it's 5 megapixels on the back. How bad could 5 megapixels be? 5 megapixels can be really, really bad, guys. Like, really bad. So now, I'm waiting for my phone, my OnePlus 5, to show up. I ordered the Slate Gray 64 gigabyte model with 16, no, 6 gigs of RAM. Um, something set me on that. One tip to you guys, if you're going to go ahead and order a OnePlus... Do, and you live in Los Angeles, like I do, do not pay for FedEx, because FedEx, I hate FedEx. What they did, my phone was at the delivery center Friday. And they held it for delivery Monday. Why did they do that? It was not the delivery day. And it said on the my FedEx uh, tracking not due for delivery. But this video is not about FedEx. This video is about the Blue Grand M and what a piece of shit it is. And this phone is horrible. Um, calls are a joke. I 90% of the time I get the call. And the phone just doesn't even ring. Um, the other 10% of the time I get the call, and I'll pick up the phone, I'll answer it, and then they'll go away and keep ringing. So I gotta swipe down from the notification center, and I gotta, um, accept the call from there. Why do I need to first accept the call, and then swipe down to accept the call again? I installed the light launcher. That's the launcher I had on my phone, if you guys were wondering. It sped the phone up dramatically, but the light launcher is meant for phones with low RAM capacity. It's meant for older phones. So, all I'm trying to say here is the Blue Grand M. If you got a kid that needs a phone, that need that you want to be able to call at school or call to pick them up or from his friend's house or whatever, go ahead and buy this phone. If you want a phone that's gonna play games, that's gonna run, this thing doesn't even do Google Maps, guys. I couldn't even get fucking Google Maps to work on this phone to see where we were on the road on the way to Tijuana. So, just, when you buy a phone, you 
seriously get what you're paying for. Now, the OnePlus, I have very high expectations for. It, it was cheap, relatively. Uh, S8's a thousand bucks. The OnePlus is 479 I paid an extra 139 for 24 month protection because, you know, I lose shit, I break shit, uh, stuff falls in the water, stuff happens. I work in AC and accidents are bound to happen. So, to top off this review, the one, the blue Grand M is not grand at all. And it's going back to Target. This phone sucks. Simple enough. This phone just... It sucks. That's it. I mean, if I... I wanted to give this phone a good review. I wanted to be able to say it at least handled kind of. You know, I didn't... I wasn't trying to play games. I wasn't trying to watch YouTube videos. I was trying to do basic stuff, call an Uber, search where I am on the map, find directions to a spot. I couldn't even do that. That's how bad this phone is. So, this video is already 11 minutes long. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't buy this phone, ever. It's a horrible phone. Save your 80 bucks. Use that 80 bucks and go, I don't know, go, st <laughs> go buy your office coffee. That'd be better money spent than going to buy this phone. It's horrible. It's a piece of crap. Don't buy it. That's the review. Stay tuned for the OnePlus 5 review, which I honestly... I wish I could have had it on Friday because I want this phone so bad. But you guys will see the unboxing probably filmed on the iPad because I seriously cannot find my tripod. And uh, using the camera and the DL it's a DSLR, it's big, it's clunky. I can just film in here to be the same thing. So I hope y'all have a great day. It's uh, Sunday right now. I hope y'all have a great rest of your Sunday. And I will see you probably Monday with an unboxing video. Tomorrow. So stay tuned. Peace out.